Hey guys, it's Bubby here. In this video, we're taking a look at Tiny10 version 2209. Now, the last version of Tiny10 that we took a look at that was actually made by NT Dev was Tiny10, I believe, 21H2 beta. And that was a few months ago. However, obviously, he's, of course, come out with the official, or quote, official 2209, which is the latest build of Tiny10. So we're going to be seeing how it performs. You know, are there any real major changes from Tiny10 the last time we took a look at it to this. As you, if you've been a follower of this channel, you know that we've taken a look at various tiny Windows distributions, um, a lot of which haven't been very great. A lot of them have been like off-brand. They have their YouTube channel on the desktop. But one thing that's very consistent about NT Dev is NT Dev does what is required to make Tiny10 really Tiny10. You know, I wish that they would come out with Tiny11, um, but this is very debloated. There's no crap on it. It's just it's literally the bare minimum of Windows 10 So of course setup looks the same as a regular Windows setup would we're gonna be back once this is ready and in the Oob or on the desktop depending on whether it skips Uber or not and Here we are in the tiny 10 2209 out of box experience um, some tiny distributions actually skip the out of box experience, but I'm glad that tiny 10 does not so we can go ahead and go through and set up our computer. Um, I honestly can't remember um, what the out-of-box experience for Windows 10 typically contains because I haven't set Windows 10 up in over a year because of Windows 11. But I don't believe they're skipping out on much besides the Microsoft account stuff. So we're going to install this, get VMware tools installed, and then we're going to be able to take a look at Tiny, Tiny 10, not Tiny 11. All right, and here we go. So we're going to go ahead and install VMware Tools, hopefully um, get into the file explorer, here we go, and get these installed. I'm hoping that this works. It should because it should have everything it needs. All right, here we go. VMware Tools installation, typical blah, 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 whatever. This isn't part of the operating system. All right, so for some reason, the graphics didn't actually scale up. Oh, I know why, because I have that turned on. There we go. That's a lot better. All right, so here we are in Tiny 10. I almost said Tiny 11 again. Uh, first thing you want to see is what version of Windows this is actually running. I believe it's 21, yep, 21 H1, 19044, 18, uh, Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC. Um, I didn't actually know that Enterprise LTSC came out with 21 H2. Um, I thought they were still on that really old version. I'm going to have to look into updating some of the computers that I know that are on LTSC. But here we go. By default, we have the regular blue Windows 10 background, which I actually really do like this. I like Windows 11 too, though. Uh, by default, we have the recycle bin, which is a lot, which is half of what we typically get on a new install. Um, usually we have Microsoft Edge on the desktop by default, I think. Um, on the taskbar, we have the start menu, the search bar, the task view thing, and nothing else by default is pinned on this taskbar. There's no file explorer, there's no edge, there's nothing. So, I, I don't think it would really hurt to have stuff pinned on the taskbar by default, like explorer maybe. Um... I, I wouldn't complain if Explorer was pinned on the taskbar. I think that would actually be a good idea because Explorer is arguably one of the most used things in the Windows operating system. Um, and then over here we have our typical Windows 10 stuff. Nothing is hidden. Everything is there. So moving over to our start menu, we can see, okay, this actually does come with Microsoft Edge because I know previous versions of Tiny 10 have not shipped with Windows 10 or with Microsoft Edge rather. Um, I'm glad this one does. Most people didn't know how to get a web browser over onto Tiny10 without a USB. I'm glad it comes with one now, um, and at least a decently good browser at that. So, moving on down the list, we have settings, which is our typical Windows settings. Blah, 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 blah. We can see the same stuff we've already seen. Whatever, whatever. Then we have Windows accessories. Uh, basic Windows accessories calculator is on here. And it's the old version of the calculator. It's not that new UWP whatever. It's like Windows 7 calculator. That's actually kind of cool. 
Um, what else do we have? Notepad, Paint, the old Windows 10 version of Paint, all the basic regular stuff, you know, nothing really new and in, nothing really cool here. Administrative tools, basic Windows stuff, um, ease of access, PowerShell, and Windows system. And that that's about it. That is, that's all that this OS really ships with. Um, I know in previous versions of Tiny10 that Windows updates didn't work. Um, I'm curious to see, yep, okay. So, what happens if we try to run the Windows troubleshooter here for Windows Update? I want to see if there's anything it can do to get us. So, let's see if the updater troubleshooter is going to try to get us back online. Windows Update was disabled because of storage space. Changes have been made and you need to restart. So we're going to restart. Uh, I want to see what it actually says it did though because I don't know. Okay, what is it doing? It just went through all this. I, I don't. Alright. Um, I'm not sure what. Okay, whatever. It's, it's missing Windows Update files. But yeah, this is Tiny102209. Um, I like it a lot. This would run really good on older computers, you know, relatively crappy computers. Um, I might have to try this on a ThinkPad. I have quite a few older ThinkPads that are really garbage, but I wouldn't really consider usable. But I wonder what this would do to them. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here, as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.